What's up guys? The surprise is finally here. New graphics kit and I'm super excited about it. So first off, I wanted to give a huge shout out to Dingerbilt himself. Uh, he doesn't want me to make this like a whole promotional thing about Dingerbilt and all that, but he's an awesome guy. I've actually been online playing with him on the Sim Racer stuff. If you guys have seen the video, I made the whole Sim Racer, and uh, you know I basically play online and race and stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. He has the same sort of thing, and we were playing on there. And through that, he's like, "Hey man, I'm coming out with the graphics kit. Are you interested?" And to that, I was like, "Hell yeah!" Now a couple weeks ago I came out with a video where Kevin was helping me and we were actually putting on some fresh plastics, kind of getting prepared for all this. I wanted some fresh plastics that weren't marked up and that weren't yellow so that way these would stick really well and obviously yellow being with the whole blue thing, no, no. So when I got the graphics kit in I thought it was going to be super easy, I thought I'd be able to throw it on and it'd basically be a big sticker but it's not, it's a graphics kit. It's a little bit more time consuming and it takes a lot more patience than that. And I didn't realize that at first. So Kevin ended up coming over and me and him were gonna throw the graphics kit on and be done with it. And we had a video planned for you guys, but it didn't really work out. So we scratched that video. Um, but that being said, my mom came in super clutch. Uh, I ended up talking to her after I had some issues and she ended up watching a video with me. Uh, I'm gonna put that video in the link description because it helped me out so much. Uh, my mom and me watched the video and basically the next day we came out here and put it on. So the heat gun was the main thing missing and then a solution, which is actually watered down Windex, was the other uh, fix. So pretty much that was the game changer as well as my mom having enough patience to put it on. By the way, Thank you, mom. She, she watches my videos, but thank you very much for helping me out. Um, my bike looks amazing. Uh, but that being said, seriously though, I, if you want to do it and you have the patience, definitely watch that video that I got in the link description, uh, in the description, link in the description. Anyways, watch the video. It's like an hour long. I'm not saying watch the whole video. I'm just saying watch a little bit of the video so you can learn a little bit. He teaches you things like how to use the heat gun, how to use the solution how to start the sticker in the center of the kind of like the biggest part and then go out instead of the way I tried to do it from the start, which is starting from the edge and then moving out and how you stretch the sticker without destroying it. There's a lot of really, really good information in this video. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything because I don't, but that guy is a professional and I highly recommend watching that video. Anyways guys, that's gonna be it for this video. It's just a really short video letting you guys know what the surprise was that I got a new livery, that I'm super excited about it. I've wrote it a little bit and I've got so many people that are already being like, dude, that looks awesome. So super thankful to Dingerbilt, to my mom helping me put it on, Kevin trying to help me put it on, and just overall, just I'm super excited. So definitely make sure to subscribe for new videos. Uh, stuff is coming out soon and I'm gonna be riding a lot. I'm super excited, summer is coming and this coronavirus is hopefully going away. So. Hope you see you guys in the future and thanks guys for watching. See you guys next time.